Hello everybody, my name is Alex Shudnozlak and I'm a film critic at Filmbook. Today I will be reviewing the 2020 action fantasy film The Old Guard. The Old Guard is directed by Gina Prince Bythewood, written by source author Greg Rucka, and stars Charlize Theron and Kiki Lane. This movie went straight to Netflix. I'm not sure what the original plan for this movie was, and to be honest, 2020 has been kind of a dumpster fire for movie releases, so it makes a lot of sense that this went straight to streaming. This movie's very high concept. When I first started watching this, I kind of said to myself, okay, this is going to be one of your standard genre movies. But then the classic big budget Hollywood movie hook happens about 10 minutes in. Let me get more into it. So Charlize Theron leads this group of mercenaries who have special talents and get hired for all these high stake jobs that require people of her nature. However, in the beginning of the movie, they're set up during one of their missions. Basically, they're led to believe that they're going to rescue a bunch of children in Sudan. But instead, they're trapped in a room with heavily armed soldiers that shoot them to death. Spoiler alert. Not really though, because this happens 10 minutes into the movie, and it's in the trailer, so I don't know if I'd really consider it a spoiler. But here's the twist. This group of people are able to magically heal themselves like the Wolverine. Basically, their bodies are able to force out all of the bullets, and all of their wounds just heal within seconds. And you know, then they go back to killing all the soldiers that tried to kill them like everything was normal. We come to learn that most of this group has been around for centuries. The guy that set them up in the beginning of this movie is working with this pharma nut job who wants to kidnap them and basically do experiments to figure out what makes them immortal. I can only picture that they use Martin Shkreli as a influence for the pharma guy because he's kind of a douche. But moving on, the group ends up having this sort of weird dream connection with this soldier that's in Afghanistan. The soldier's played by Kiki Lane. She's on a mission while on duty, and she ends up getting her throat slit. But when she wakes up the next day, she finds that her wound has magically healed. So Charlize and her group have this connection with her, so she basically goes to save her from being experimented on by the army. And then the story moves on from there. I won't reveal any more story points because then we get into spoiler territory, but you should get the gist from there. So let's talk about what I liked. The concept for this movie is cool. It's based off of a graphic novel series, which I'm sure a lot of the fans will agree, per usual, that the graphic novel is probably better than the movie. That's fine. But I can at least admit that a lot of the ideas that the story brings are compelling and fun. Charlize is great. That's always a given. I've seen a lot of reviews comparing this role to her other action roles, such as Atomic Blonde. I don't know if that's really fair to say. I'm really glad that she stepped up and doing a lot more action roles because I think she really kicks ass and does a great job in these movies. She's a badass. Her fight scenes are awesome. I think all of her performances should stand alone and not be compared with each other. The rest of the performances are good as well. The only other actor that I really recognized is Chiwetel Joroff. I'm really sorry if I butchered that up. I'm sure with the other actors, if I looked at their IMDb, I would say, oh yeah. But besides that, they have good chemistry with each other. But it's clear that Charlize stands out heavily amongst the rest of the group, as I'm sure that was one of the reasons that she was hired for this role. Some of the things that I didn't like so much, while the concept of the story was cool, I did find the plot a bit too predictable at points. I can forgive that most of the time as long as I'm having fun with a movie. But the problem of watching a movie like this at home is that I found myself, anytime that I was getting bored, I would start looking at my cell phone. Man, I really miss movie theaters. I really don't like watching movies for the first time at home. To be fair, I do tend to look at my phone when I'm watching things that I really enjoy as well. So this is not the only time it's happened. There was also some really weird creative decisions. I did not like the soundtrack for this movie. And to be clear, I'm not talking about the score. There's also an actual soundtrack in this movie. They used a lot of actual songs for the fight sequences. And to be honest, none of them really worked for me. I felt really distracted just by how much the music did not fit during those times. There's really a lot of weird handheld cam or shaky cam in layman's terms. Like I feel like there's a lot of scenes that were shot locked down on a tripod or some other thing and they added the shaky cam in post-production, which granted I'm guilty of doing this as well, but I also make movies for pennies when Hollywood is making them for dollars. All in all, I would say this movie's pretty average. I'm sure there's an audience for it outside of the graphic novel. That's fine. In an age where we're not getting a lot of new movies coming out, this will definitely suffice as an indoor date night movie. Personally, this movie wasn't for me, but it also wasn't made for me either. 
If you want something that's a little different, but still has that classic high concept Hollywood feel, then you'll probably like this movie. And that's just okay. So for my rating, I'm gonna have to give this a six out of 10. And that brings us to the conclusion of my review for The Old Guard. I'd like to thank you for watching. This is my first review for Filmbook, but soon you'll be able to find more of my work on their website. That's film-book.com. Just search for Alex Shrednozlak. I know, it's a mouthful. You can also find other videos and reviews that I've done at my YouTube channel, link in the description. If you liked what you heard in this video, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you're instantly notified when new reviews are published. If you agreed or disagreed with my review, definitely leave me a comment down in the comments section below. Please also consider becoming one of our members on Patreon, link in the description. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Thank you all so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Later. Uh -huh.